What is going on everybody and welcome to another hybrid squad builder and this hybrid squad builder is actually going to be quite interesting You're not going to see many, many teams like this I believe and it also costs a lot of money and it it also could be a lot more expensive and uh, This is I believe the cheapest team of the season hybrid that you can possibly make so obviously uh, some of the players are not going to be very good um, but it is a team of the season hybrid all you get 99 chem and you could definitely make it a lot better and probably use different formations better players but that's going to cost you a lot more money but this is one team that I managed to put together I think yeah under a million coins so you already see that some like full like uh, team of the season Serie A squads are like three million coins stuff like that but this one costs less than a million so if you have the money go ahead and give it a go but uh, we'll go straight into the team and we start off with the goalkeeper and it's going to be the team of the season Mignolet that was in the team of the season most consistent and uh, he's an 82 rated keeper so there's obviously better options in the BPL like if you would just get Peter check the regular version he'd be a lot better than uh, team of the season Mignolet but we'll go on to the left back and that is the recently released Pasquale who's actually a pretty decent left back you know the, he, he's pretty impressive I guess uh, there aren't many very good left backs in the Serie A and uh, for being Italian and in the Serie A uh, he's a pretty solid option no complaints there and he doesn't even cost that much either I think I got him for around 30,000 coins or something we'll go on to the center back that links up with him and that is actually going to be Rodriguez who is not impressive by any means he got 63 pace 82 defending and 84 heading I think he's pretty tall but um, uh, as far as that goes uh, let's see he's actually only six feet tall so not very impressive you do get caught out in the back quite a bit and as you saw earlier the other center back is Vertonghen who was one of the best players on this team now he's got 77 pace 78 shooting 85 passing 78 dribbling 90 defending and 89 heading and honestly you could play him as a center defensive mid or center attacking mid if you wanted to but sadly we don't have those cards on FIFA and who knows maybe they might include them in uh, FIFA 14 but I do highly doubt that and we'll move on to the right back and that's going to be Reether who plays for Fulham like I said it is the cheapest uh, team that you can make you could put team of the season Zavaleta and you'd get the same results but uh, he is cheaper so he went into the squad he's also pretty decent 81 pace 80 defending 77 heading 80 passing and 75 dribbling pretty decent right back all around uh, I recommend you give him a, a try he's you know a blue card interesting to use even though like you could probably use Kyle Walker uh, other other right backs that are much more impressive than him uh, center defensive mids uh, on this side we've got Mikel Arteta and on the other side with the Serie A links is Borja Valero he recently just came out too and he cost me 31,000 coins so you know not not too expensive uh, Mikel Arteta, on the other hand, costs 125,000 coins, but their prices are constantly changing, so this may change in a few days or even a few weeks' time. But as you can see there, they're 85 rated, but Arteta definitely has the more impressive stats, and uh, they were both fantastic players, great at passing. You know, they put a bunch of through balls, perfectly paced, pl uh, placed passes, and really th they controlled the tempo, and we left the top four players to go ahead and go and score the goals. And the center attacking mid on this side is actually going to be Castro and the other center attacking mid whoops let's get on over there is going to be Coke or Coke I think that's how you pronounce it that's how the commentators pronounce it uh, <laughs> obviously Coke is a silver team of the season player so he's not going to be anywhere near as impressive and I don't really recommend trying him out on a goal team and by that I mean he does feel like a silver player as in every other gold player outclasses him he, he just feels like really stiff on the ball not not very impressive and um, really, I, I wouldn't recommend him. And he, he cost me around like 100,000 coins. And whoops, there's my phone. But uh, he did cost me 100,000 coins. And uh, people are putting him up for like 130,000. It's it's ridiculous. He's, he's definitely not worth the price. Although, uh, he may be interesting to try in a uh, silver team. Castro, not too bad stats. Also wasn't very expensive. He cost me, let's see, 62,000 coins. And uh, he's got pretty decent stats, 81 pace, 71 shooting, 85 passing, 84 dribbling, 80 defending, and 72 heading. So if you want to play him at center defensive mid, you definitely can. But for the purposes of this team, uh, I put him into the center attacking mid position. And you can pretty much guess who this striker is going to be. It's obviously going to be team of the season Keesling, whom I did do a review for. And he didn't really impress, as in he wasn't very much fun to play with. But he is a really good goal scorer, I, I can't lie. If you cross the ball in... 
10 out of 10, he's going to win that header. And most of the time, they're going to be goals. So a lot of the goals he scores are going to be headers for you. And if you don't cross it to him, you're, you're just wasting a player because uh, he's not very impressive with the ball at his feet. So you might as well cross it. And the last striker who was very, very impressive was a Ruben Castro and he's just so fast if you come up against slow defenders you're going to have an excellent time playing with this team you're gonna have so much fun running by them with uh, with Ruben Castro who costs me let's see 37,250 coins and then we've got Kiesling who cost me 114,000 coins and so far I've only played two games with this team but I've already got like 10 goals so it's pretty insane but uh, obviously I'm going to play more games and put those at the clips to the end. But just to recap, the let's uh, go, I guess, one by one. Oh, we've got Mignolet, who, who's an okay keeper. Uh, there's nothing really to shout about. I mean, his stats aren't very impressive. 85 dieting, 84 handling, 72 kicking, 85 reflexes, 61 speed, and 78 positioning. So, you know, not not very impressive, but uh, for the price, it's, not, it's nothing to cry about. It's 34500 uh, do not re oh shit! Do not recommend getting Rodriguez. He is not <laughs> a a good center back. You could get hundreds of other ser uh, Serie A center backs that could easily replace him. So spend your coins somewhere else. Pasquale is a decent player. 80 pace, 83 passing, 80 dribbling, 80 defending, 74 heading. Pretty good coming out and passing the ball. So uh, you know, go ahead and give him a try. Vertonghen obviously. Why do I keep doing that? Vertonghen obviously fantastic player and he did cost a lot of coins uh, 206,000 so the most expensive player on this team and uh, I guess well worth it there aren't that many very uh, center backs in the Premier League that can compare to this uh, actually many center backs in the game that can compare to this so uh, if you have the coins go ahead give them a try Reether solid yeah that, that's pretty much all I can say didn't cost much other than to complain about center defensive mid were very impressive very interesting controlled the game and uh, really were pretty much the high points of this team. The center attacking mids, uh, Castro, hands down, over Koke. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And uh, really recommend you give him a try. The strikers, uh, if you're crossing, Kiesling, and if you want everything else, it's going to be Ruben Castro. He's got 86 pace. That, that's that's very, very good. And his acceleration is really great. You'll see some clips where he just leaves Puyo behind by several, several yards after running from uh, it. I guess running from a deeper part of the pitch but uh, it's not a very skillful team uh, the max you're gonna get is three star skills all of these players have three star skills Vertonghen has three star skills and Reether has three star skills and uh, these two have got two star skills so another thing to remember like I said it's the cheapest seri uh, team of the season hybrid that is on the market right now or at least for me and this is what I came up with go ahead and come up with your own but it does cost a lot of money I'll probably put it in the title uh, how much this entire team cost but I hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to stay tuned for the uh, clips at the end but uh, other than that uh, feel free to subscribe for more uh, teams like this as soon as more players come out I'll probably be making teams just like this but I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video feel free to subscribe like and I will see you guys next time